Hi to all. I am A.V. Lakshman Rao, Assistant Professor in Physics, Department of H&S. In today's session, I am going to explain you about what is Fermi-Dirac statistics or Fermi-Dirac distribution law. So, I have divided this session into two important concepts as first we are going to discuss about Fermi-Dirac distribution law and second we are going to analyze the Fermi-Dirac distribution law as two important concepts. First, we will go with Fermi Dirac distribution law. How it was defined and what is the use with this Fermi Dirac distribution law. Now, as we know that what is Fermi energy level? The highest energy level that an electron can occupy at 0 degree Kelvin in general we are taking as the Fermi energy level or Fermi level. Okay. So, as we know that when temperature is 0 degree Kelvin, here in this case EF is nothing but called as the Fermi energy level. This is the basic requirement that you must know before going to know about what is Fermi Dirac distribution law. Okay. Now, so we know what is Fermi energy level. Now, we are going to discuss about what is Fermi Dirac distribution law. According to the definition here, if you take the Fermi Dirac distribution law as FDD, we can say that when when the temperature of 0 degree Kelvin, the highest energy level which is occupied by electrons, that uh, uh, energy level is called Fermi energy level. Now, when you raise the temperature of this material, we know that uh, here electrons are jumping. They were excited and they are jumping from lower energy level to higher energy level. Now, the excitation of electrons when it takes place, uh, electrons are jumping from lower energy level to higher energy level as like this. So, when they were jumping from lower energy level to higher energy level, they will obey a statistical distribution law. That statistical distribution law we are calling as Fermi Dirac distribution law. Here what is happening when you raise the temperature instead of 0 degree Kelvin, when you raise the temperature T greater than 0 Kelvin, then electrons are going to be distributed above the Fermi energy level. So, distribution where that electron is going to be occupied and what is the probability of occupying that electron at that particular energy level. There is one statistical distribution law is there. By using that, we came to uh, we can determine that uh, values. So, that uh, statistical distribution law we are calling as a Fermi Dirac distribution law we are calling. For example, in a, in a given system, you take as a T. T is nothing but the given temperature of that system and E you take as energy level where you want to know that electron whether it is occupying at that particular energy level or not. E is given energy level now. E can be expected at below Fermi energy level. E is also can be expected that can be taken. E is equivalent to EF also we can take. It is nothing but at Fermi energy level, the if at all the given energy level is there. And E can also be expected that given energy level can be taken that is above Fermi energy level also. So, E is nothing but where you want to know the probability of occupying electron that value at what particular energy level you want to know. That is nothing but taken as the E. Now, according to Fermi Dirac distribution law, the probability of occupying electrons at higher energy levels will obey a statistical distribution law and that according to that statistical distribution law, probability function f of e is nothing but probability function is written as 1 by 1 by e to the power exponential of e minus ef by e minus ef by kb into t and for whole value whatever you got by adding 1 it is nothing but plus 1. So, this is nothing but Fermi Dirac distribution equation we are calling. So, what it tells us now we are going to discuss. Okay. So, in next slide I am going to explain what is the meaning of this probability function and what is the use of this probability function by taking three different cases I am going to explain. Now, you see, what is Fermi-Dirac distribution law? This is the Fermi-Dirac distribution law. 
where some important parameters are given. So, the first parameter is the temperature. Temperature is a T. In general, temperature is measured in Kelvin. Since the value what we are taking here as absolute temperature. The units of absolute temperature are Kelvin. So, temperature T and the units for that are K. Now, the given energy level. That, that energy level may be below Fermi energy level or equivalent to Fermi energy level or above Fermi energy level. Given energy level where you want to know the Fermi uh, distribution for that value you want to know. So, that given energy level units in general will be taken as Joule or we can also take in, in electron volt also. Since energy, na, energy units can be taken as either in Joule or electron volt. Where here the KB is there. Here you see in this uh, equation KB is there. KB is nothing but Boltzmann constant. We know the Boltzmann constant value also. That value we need to substitute uh, here. E to the power whatever the KB value is there. That we need to substitute. And uh, Fermi energy level. As we know that it is also nothing but an energy level only. And uh, units of energy is Joule. So here in this case Joule is nothing but J. We are representing with uh, J. So temperature T. E is the given energy level and Kb is Boltzmann constant and Fermi energy level is EF. If you know all these values by substituting that values in above equation, we came to know what is the probability of occupying electrons at a particular energy level as the given energy level. Okay. Now, here F of E. F of E is nothing but probability function. Na. Here the probability function values vary from 0 to 1. Probability 0 is the minimum value that we know. Probability is 1. That is the maximum value. So, the very, the, so the range of the F of E values can be taken as 0 to 1. Now, for example, after doing calculation of the given, by using the values, you have calculated the value of F of E as here some value that is in between. In between is nothing but for example 0 0.5 you take. What it means? That also now we are going to discuss. Now, F of E value, for example, you got as a minimum value 0 by doing calculation. So, the meaning of that F of E value is 0 is nothing but here 0 percentage. 0 percentage. What is the meaning of 0 percentage means never occupy the electron at a given energy level. Then in general, we are going to get the F of E value as 0. Now, for example, F of E value by calculating the F of E value, you got as 1 value. What it means? It is nothing but definitely electrons will occupy at that particular given energy level E. So, based on the value of F of E, we can say that whether electron is compulsorily will occupy that given energy level or it never occupies. In between, for example, you got 1.5. If you got 1.5, if you got, sorry, 0.5, the meaning of that is 50% chances are there. So on as like that, we can take any value of F of E that is in between the 0 to 1 as like that we can take. Now, I am taking some situations or cases where given energy level is sometimes can be taken as a below Fermi energy level. Sometimes let me take as a above Fermi energy level and sometimes you take as a at the uh, Fermi level itself. By taking as like that and assuming that the temperature of that uh, material or system is 0 degree Kelvin and above 0 degree Kelvin, how we can calculate uh, the Fermi energy, uh, Fermi Dirac uh, that uh, probability function value. Now we are going to see. Now here I am taking the case 1. Case 1 where here I am taking the given energy level. I am selecting one energy level. That energy level is greater than EF. Greater than is nothing but above Fermi energy level. I am taking one energy level that where you where I want to know the probability of occupying electrons. That energy level I am taking above Fermi energy level. Above Fermi energy level, either here you can take, either here you can take, either here you can take, either here or here you can take. Here, this is nothing but the Fermi energy level. Above Fermi energy level, I am considering one energy level is there where you want, where I want to know the Fermi uh, that uh, probability function value and assuming that the temperature of that material and the temperature of that material is 0 degree Kelvin here. If E greater than EF and 
the system temperature is 0 degree Kelvin. Then what is the probability of occupying electron above Fermi energy level when temperature is 0 degree Kelvin. So from the equation by substituting the values we can say that here 1 as it is I am writing now e to the power exponential value is e exponential is nothing but e na e to the power e minus e f by here k b t is there k b is Boltzmann constant t is absolute temperature 0 but here we have taken situation that temperature is 0 so k b into 0 k b into 0 is nothing but in denominator we are going to get a 0 value so e minus e f by 0 e to the power e minus e f by 0 it is nothing but e to the power infinite as like that we need to take e to the power infinite value is nothing but infinite only infinite plus 1 infinite whatever value is there that i am writing as it is infinite plus 1 is nothing but infinite only so in denominator we are getting infinite value 1 by infinite is nothing but value is 0 the meaning of f of e equal to 0 is nothing but 0 percent it is nothing but probability of occupying electrons above fermi energy level when temperature of the system is 0 degree kelvin is 0 never occupy above fermi energy level when temperature equal to 0 degree kelvin electrons never occupy above fermi energy level so the highest energy level itself is the fermi energy level the, that's why you cannot see any electrons above fermi energy level when temperature is equal to 0 degree kelvin now you take the second situation what is that second situation case 2 i am taking now in this case too, if the given energy level e is nothing but given energy level only now, if e is less than e f, if e is less than e f is nothing but uh, below Fermi energy level, let us assume that there is one uh, electron, uh, there is one energy level is there and uh, the temperature of that system you take as a T equal to 0 degree Kelvin. Temperature I am taking as 0 degree Kelvin and uh, assuming that I have taken one energy level where I want to know the probability function value that energy is either uh, uh, here or here or here below Fermi energy level let us assume that E is there then what, ab what about the probability value that was calculated by using this Fermi direct distribution law now you see if I take the Fermi equation as like this, Fermi Dirac distribution equation as like this, e to the power as it is I am writing 1 by e to the power, here you see the value of E minus E f, here given energy level is always less than the Fermi energy level, due to that reason the subtraction of given energy level minus the Fermi energy level will always give a negative value, will always give a negative value, so minus of some value divided by temperature is 0 degree Kelvin na. so denominator if you take always it will come as a 0 only since t equal to 0 so e to the power some value is there that value is nothing but minus something to the power something divided by 0 it is nothing but e to the power minus infinite we are getting e to the power minus infinite is nothing but 1 by e to the power infinite 1 by e to the power infinite is nothing but 1 by infinite and the value of that 1 by infinite is nothing but 0 plus 1 plus 1 as it is i am writing so the final value we got as f of e equal to 1 f of e is equal to 1 is nothing but we know that 1 represents 100 percent the meaning of that is here when temperature is 0 degree kelvin the given energy level if you take as e which is located below the Fermi energy level compulsory electron should occupy at that particular energy level yes according to the definition also we can say that below Fermi energy level when temperature is 0 degree Kelvin all the energy levels whichever energy level you take all are occupied with electrons only due to that reason probability of occupying electrons below Fermi energy level is you got as a one value it is nothing but whatever the equation that we have written it is giving correct meaning only correct answer only it is giving so in case one and case two we have taken the given energy level in case one as above fermi energy level 
and in case two we have taken the given energy level as the below fermi energy level by taking the temperature value as a zero and a zero but one more situation can also be taken one more case also be taken where the given energy level i am taking exactly as the fermi energy level when the given energy level where you want to know the fermi that uh, probability function value and that given energy level is, is equivalent to ef then what about uh, the fermi dirac distribution probability function value that also we are going to see so case 3 if you take if e is equivalent to ef given energy level is equivalent to fermi energy level and uh, the temperature of that material here i am taking that is uh, other than 0 degree kelvin it is nothing but let us assume that i have lowered the temperature or increased the temperature other than 0 degree kelvin for example if you take as like this what what is that uh, f of e value that we are going to get uh, in this case now we are going to calculate by using uh, that probability function value so according to fermi dirac distribution law this is the standard equation and uh, one as it is i am writing e to the power as it is i am writing here e minus ef e is equivalent to ef if you take as like that e minus ef it is nothing but obviously we are going to get a value as a zero only zero by here kb into t is there in this case t we are not taking as the zero degree kelvin other than zero degree kelvin so t should not be taken as zero kelvin in that case here some denominator value in positive we can expect that so e to the power zero by something positive value so overall e to the power zero we are going to get as the value now something to the power zero is nothing but one that we know plus whatever value fermi dirac function value is there in equation that value as it is i am writing here so in that case 1 by 1 1 by 1 plus 2 we are getting so 1 by 2 1 by 2 is nothing but 0.5 the meaning of that is 0.5 f of e value we got means it is nothing but 50% 0.5 is nothing but 50% so we can say that according to the fermi dirac distribution law the probability of occupying here electrons when the given energy level is exactly at the fermi energy level other than temperature is 0 degree kelvin can be set as 50% probability chances are there for occupying electrons at fermi energy level it is nothing but as you go on increasing the temperature here the probability of occupying electrons at fermi energy level is 50% chances are there as like that we can say by taking so on as like that by taking the e value at different different uh, locations we can calculate the f of e value probability value can be calculated now let us analyze the fermi dirac distribution la here i am taking three important parameters to analyze in a graphical manner now i am going to analyze now in fermi dirac distribution la here you see f of e is there f of e is one parameter that is probability function values the values will vary from 0 to 1 that values i am taking on this graph on y axis f of e values f of e values i am taking on y axis zero minimum value is zero and maximum value is one so the first parameter i have selected as f of e and i am representing that values on y axis from zero to one as like that now the second parameter that i am taking as given energy level to fermi energy level the difference value why because e is energy level only ef is also energy level only that's why the difference between these two whatever the joule value or the electron volt value we are getting that values let me take on x axis x axis on x axis sometimes here you see e is greater than ef then can be expected positive value of the difference if e is less than ef we are going to get the negative value of e minus ef that's why the values i am taking here from 0 to negative side 
zero to negative side and zero to positive side. It depends on the energy level of the given energy level, how much value you have taken. That is above Fermi energy level or below Fermi energy level or is equivalent to Fermi energy level. If at all the given energy level is equivalent to Fermi energy level, here E E equal to EF. In that case, the difference will become as a zero. So, on x-axis, negative values I am taking and I am here taking the zero value and the positive values are also I am taking as like that. So, here 0 minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.6 up to 1 I am taking the values and the positive side also same similarity I am following 0, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.6 and the maximum value you take as 1. So, on x axis I have taken the difference values of the energy levels and on y axis I am taking the probability values range from 0 to 1. Now, we know that the probability of occupying electrons from lower energy level to higher energy level depends on the system temperature. As the temperature varies, then the probability value is also changing. That is why the third parameter in the equation is the temperature value. So, that temperature variation values I am taking as one value as 0 another value as t equal to g 300 Kelvin of the system and another value highest value let me take as 2500 Kelvin as like that the different different temperatures you take. In this case to plot this graph I am taking three parameters the first one is f of e probability function value and the second value the difference between the e and ef on x axis and the temperature values on here the graph as like this. If you plot a graph between this parameter versus the f of e versus the given temperature of that system, we are going to get the different different profiles as like that. Now, to best understand about this graph, let me take one case. In that case, let me take T is 0 degree Kelvin. Temperature of the system is 0 degree Kelvin. I am taking the temperature of the system as a 0 degree Kelvin. Now, E minus EF, for example, you take as a 0. E minus EF is 0 means what? E is equal to EF. It is nothing but the given energy level is equivalent to Fermi energy level. So, the given energy level is Fermi energy level and the temperature of the system is 0 degree Kelvin. Then what is the probability of occupying electrons at Fermi energy level? Obviously, from 0 to, if you take t equal to 0, then the probability value is 1. So, in this graph, it is correct only. We have shown as a correct profile only. Like this, by varying the temperatures, the variation of the probability function value with respect to the energies can be drawn as like this. This is nothing but the analysis of Fermi Dirac distribution law. Now, the final conclusions of this Fermi Dirac distribution law are what? So, first point we can say that when you give some external energy to the material, obviously electrons will absorb that energy. Absorption process is taking place and electrons are going to jump from lower energy level to higher energy level. It is nothing but lower electron, lower energy level electro, electrons, they are going to occupy to higher energy level. Occupation of electrons from lower to higher energy level can be seen by applying external energy. That is the first point we can say. And here the Fermi level is varying with respect to temperature. As the temperature is varying, we can say that the location of Fermi level will also varies. And the third one is we can calculate what is the probability of occupying electron at a given energy level. That probability value can be calculated by using Fermi Dirac distribution law. As we have seen case 1 and 2 and 3. Temperature is 0 degree Kelvin by taking two cases we have taken. Where given energy level is EF and given energy level is E and Fermi energy level is EF. In that case, we got as 0 percentage 
hundred percent as the F of E value and E greater than E F if you take Fermi Dirac that the probability function value you get as a zero and if at all E is equivalent to E F and the greater than zero degree Kelvin if temperature is there then the probability of occupying electrons at Fermi energy level as a 50%. Like this, we can calculate probability values by using Fermi Dirac distribution law. Thank you.